evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening here from Japan, where I am right now, and from the Philippines, where, of course, we um, most of um, the Miss Earth Ground team is based. And good morning, good afternoon to everyone else all around the world, to our Earthlings who are watching right now. I know some of you have been waiting for this moment. We have also been waiting for this moment, and we are very, very excited that it is happening right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very thankful that Miss Earth Ground has been given the opportunity to interview our new Eco Angel Queens of 2020. I'm sure you are also excited. So please tell us how excited you are. Please key in your shout out requests, your comments, and later on your questions when we ask you and when the time comes for you to ask your questions. But of course, as excited as I am right now, I would have to introduce to you first, of course, the rest of the gang, our Eco Besties, and my co host for tonight. Let's all welcome straight from Manila, Marky and Noy. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Good evening from Manila. I am Marky. And I am Noy. And we'd like to welcome you to another session of our Miss EarthCon Insight Stories. We'll get to know our queen and her elemental quirk. Yes, and we're so excited because it's going to be a really great night. So to all of our fans, please key in your comments and shoutouts for our extra special guests for tonight. Right, Eman? Yes, that's right. Yes, key in, key and that is that is the key. So keep on um, commenting, watching, sharing this. And we are very, very honored because we are live both not only on Miss Earth Ground, but also on the Miss Earth page. So thank you, thank you very much. We are so blessed and thankful to the Miss Earth organization for this opportunity. And let's not keep you waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. And I will be introducing to you our very, very special guests for tonight. And they are ready to chat with us and to chat with you. Let's begin with, of course, our Miss Earth Fire 2020, Mikala Rubenstein. Hi, Mikala. Hi, hello. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for having me here. Thank you, Noah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mikala. We will be going back to Mikala in a bit. But now, I would like to introduce to you our next special queen. No other than Miss Earth Water, Roxy Bayens. Hi, Roxy. Hi, MEC family. Glad to be back. Nice seeing you, Paul. Yes. Yes, yes. We are so... My voice is like cracking because of excitement. Yes, we are just, we are also very, very glad to see you again, Rock. So thank you very much for being here. Up next, of course, is our Miss Earth Air, Stephanie Drek. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, hello, everyone. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to all of the viewers who are watching us around the world. Thank you so much, Stephanie. And we are so glad that you are here with us right now. Thank you. And of course, Tonight, we, all, we are also very happy to welcome on the Miss Earth Ground screen our new Miss Earth 2020, Lindsay Coffey. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me again, having all of us. It's so I'm so excited to speak to you guys today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Hi, Linnell. So excited. Yes, that's right. Linnell is here. So thank you very much. And also, we'd like to thank Linnell, of course, for... Um, um, for the help that you extended to us and of course for being here with us right now and speaking of Linnell we also have other earthlings and supporters with us right now so let me let me read some of our comments already before we proceed to our first segment the fans are excited the fans are excited the comment section is already popping and yes Linnell is our early bird hi Linnell hi guys thank you very much for being here and Chris Caleb Ismael is saying, hey, Earthlings. Hello. And of course, Jodar um, is already tuning in. Been waiting. Been excited. Actually, had she ha Jodar had many suggestions um, and on how we are go we could conduct this interview today. So thank you very much. Watching from Ilo, Ilo, Philippines. There you go. Yes, there you go. So somebody's tagging people. So Jenny is already tagging her friends to go and watch tonight's episode. Thank you very much. Somebody's watching from YouTube. Tony's son is watching from YouTube. Thank you for being here with us. Okay. Rachel says, hello, everyone. And uh, uh, Akaria Valour, okay, is asking some questions. This is not 
tonight's episode related, but we will answer it anyway. Are Marky and Noy no. related? No, <laughs> no, no, a big no. <laughs> That's an a big no. They just they just happen no. to live in one one yeah. apartment compound, so you know they're together right now. So there you go. What else? Okay. Yes, Patrick Sarah is saying. Hi, Miss Earth 2020 Queens and Elemental Courts. Hi, Patrick. Yes, you, you're getting away from our queens. Thank you so much. There you go. And we also have, oh, yes, uh, Mikomik is um, already shouting out for Roxy. And we, um, somebody asked actually days before requested, and I think some of you know him. Um, some of our queens know him. Gabriel, Gab Galvez. Yes, yes. From Miss Earth Beauties is asking us for a shout out. So, hi, Gab. Thank you for being with us um, right now. And thank you for watching. Yes, thank you very much. Akira is saying, I love uh, Mikala's necklace. Okay, there you go. And so pretty Miss Earth. Yes, of course, we agree. Yes, our Miss Earth and, of course, her elemental court are very, very beautiful. Andres Fajardo. Yes, there you go. Is saying hi to all of us. And McCoy is saying, all of them are beautiful. If I read the... What, that's a nice photo, McCoy. If we read all the comments right now, we will have no time. So we're going to read the rest of your comments later on. But for now, we would like to get to know the queens better. So our goal for today is to have fun with our queens, to get to know them better, so that you can also know them better beyond and behind the Miss Earth stage. And so for our first segment, we are going to have the segment that we call The Who. Okay. The who. So for this segment, um, we are going to have Marky. Marky, what is the who? All right, I'm very excited for this for this part of the program. The who. Uh, we actually, before we started our, our session, we gave our queens a heads up, and we told them to prepare pieces of papers with the names of their sister queens because mm -hmm. we will be showing them and flashing them descriptors. And they will choose, based on the descriptors, the lady or their sister queen who matches the descriptor, right? Yes. So that's what will happen. So example, who would most likely be sporty? Then they will just flash. I think that's all of them. Right? Flash there the name <laughs> on their screen. That's an example. That's just an example. Yeah. And then it's like guessing. And then we'll check if it, if really match, if it will really match. Right, so that's right, how it right. would go. It's also them getting to know each other better since, you know, yes. Our, yes, so our queens have been friends virtually and hopefully they, they are able to, they'll be able to meet soon in person. But right now, let's do this. All right. So, yes, and, right. and we'll also let the fans, we'll also let the fans guess. So if you would like to guess, please write down on the comments section below. That is right. Okay. So, All right. so are you ready? Yes, uh, in a while. Okay, there you go. So I will be readying. I will be readying the. I will be readying everything too. All right. So let's begin. The first one. The who. The who. <laughs> would most likely be. There you go. <laughs> who is most likely to cry while watching a romantic movie? Who is most likely to cry <laughs> while what watching a think? romantic movie? Please flash your answer. I feel like I have two girls. Oh my gosh. Two <laughs> Let's check. Let's Ready? Check. Get it? Oh, okay. Mark, yeah. counting down? Yes. Five. Four, three, two, one. Flash it on screen. Okay. Ooh, Roxy. 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 <laughs> Roxy. Sorry, Roxy. It's, good. it's, it's unanimous. It's okay. unanimous. <laughs> Roxy is probably I think, is it true? Let's see, because of the video after the coronation. Uh, uh, yeah. coronation Which made me cry too. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Made it's all so of us sweet. cry, actually. Yeah. 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 That was a very reaction. beautiful reaction. We love that. We'll talk about Thank that later you. in detail, though. Thank cool. you. Next would be that's an in, that's, that's very interesting. Yes. Next one. The next who one is, is who is most likely to be best in math. Not me for sure. <laughs> <Best in laughs> math. Me. I think that's the new best in math. Based on who impression. Who is most likely to be best in math? Oh my god. Let's do a countdown. 
That's the math. Five, four, three, two, one. Flash it. <laughs> oh, oh. It's, it's, a, it's a tie six, between yeah. Mikala and Stephanie. Oh no, it's mainly Mikala. Mikala. Yeah, yeah, Mikala is cute. <laughs> We All want right. to ask Mark, can you ask them why uh, they chose Mikala? Why did you choose Stephanie Mikala as someone who's best in math? I think who chose that? Stephanie I and think... Lindsay. Stephanie and Lindsay, why? I thought, I don't know. I just, as soon as I just heard the word math, I thought of her. Because whenever she speaks, I mean, she's obviously an intelligent woman, but I just feel like she's more of a technical intelligence as well. So she would just be really good at math and science. Mm, wow, very good impression. How about you, Stephanie? I don't know, Mikala for me look like an intelligent woman, empowered woman. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next. Who Can you Rose? also ask them why? why yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I'm the baby girl. <laughs> <Mikala. laughs> What, what can you say about that, Mikala? Yeah, Mikala, is it true? <laughs> is it true? Are you good in math? No. Wrong <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> impression. <laughs> Right. Oh, why not? Oh, wait, wait, Roxy, do you cry during romantic movies? I do. Okay. Oh, there you go, then that's true. Confirms <laughs> it then. All right. All right. Thank you. Next one. Who is most likely to say yes to bungee jumping in a heartbeat? I think anything that's adventurous, right? Yes. Who is most likely to say yes to bungee jumping in a heartbeat or any adventurous I have an idea, activity? but then let, let, me, let, let us see. I have an sure, idea. sure, sure. Same here. I have an idea. So let's count. do a countdown. Please flash the answers. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, oh another unanimous. Uh, unanimous yeah. answer, Lindsay. Why did you choose Lindsay McCullough? Well, she seems so fearless and she's traveling all over the world. So I would, she would seem to type to, you know, do something adventurous. Mm, yeah, interesting. How about uh, Stephanie? Why did you choose Lindsay? <laughs> Yo creo que Lindsay parece una mujer aventurera que no dice que no a nada. I think Lindsay looks like an adventurer. And she, would, she would say no to anything, to, to nothing. <laughs> cool. cool. Let's just confirm first. Let's check with Lindsay. Is it true? I would 100% jump, like off anything. <laughs> off okay. anything. Off anything. Amazing, amazing. 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 Yeah, yeah the hey, you're correct. The three of you are correct. Woo. Good round. Another one. Who is most likely to win an Olympic medal? Mm. Yeah. Who is most likely to win an mm. Olympic medal? Please be ready with your answers. Let me do a mm. countdown. Five. Four, three, two, one. Flash your answers, please. Oh. Olympic medal. Oh, oh now we have a... One for Mikala, one for Roxy. Oh, now all of right. you guys are in. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay, let me ask, that, let me ask um, Roxy, why did you choose Lindsay? Well, Lindsay is very fit. I know most of us would agree. I, all of us yes. would agree. And her abs. Oh, my God, her abs. Yes. <laughs> most people in the Olympics has abs. So that's what, that's what I use as a basis. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, how about you, actually, how about you Mark, Stephanie? No. Why did you choose Mikala? I don't know because Mikala looked like a good deportista. Athlete. Like a good athlete. <laughs> ah, mm, right. Very good. good. And let, let's first check with uh, Lindsay and Mikala. Lindsay, would you agree that um, if, if in case you focus on a sport, you'll win a gold medal in the Olympics? It's funny. I mean, I did find great success being an athlete, but whenever I was younger, I, I was a gymnast and I always wanted to win a gold medal at the Olympics in gymnastics. So it is funny though. So I, I did always want to do that, but will I? I mean. Wow, there, there you go. Then. Thank you. How about you, Mikala? Are you the sporty type? Do you, do I, you aspire for the gold medal? I think looks can be deceiving. <laughs> I mean, I've always done like dance, 
endurance and horse riding and sports like that, but I'm not like a, a the running type or the sporty type girl. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think so. I would love to, but I don't think so. No, my looks can be deceiving. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, That's Mark. Fine. Actually, Mark. Aside yeah. from Lindsay, I think in our elemental court we have the best abs on Miss Earth. We have Lindsay yes. and Stephanie. Yeah, I agree. Like, I, agree. I, agree. I agree. Right? It's like whenever I see Stephanie strutting her um I know. In, in a swimsuit, I'm like, why don't I have those abs like that? <laughs> I think Mikala and I have to work more. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, we're having too much fun here, guys. Okay, the next one, Mark. Next one. Who is most likely to win an Oscar? An Ooh. Award, right? Easy. Oh, I have an idea. Who is most likely to win? I have two answers. To win an Oscar. Hi. Hi for Please best flash your answers. All right, flash your answers. Five, four, three, two, one. Flash it. Oh, it's two for Michaela, one for Roxy, and one for Stephanie. I'd like to find out from Stephanie why did you choose Michaela? Why do you think she, she can win an Oscar, an acting award? Yes, because I remember that Michaela is an artist. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, I agree. She's a trained um, actress. Yes. Yeah, a trained actress. Mm. I remember Mikala. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so tell us Mikala, tell us a little bit more about your um your perform. Although we know that already, so for the rest of our fans watching right now. Yes, so I educate, uh, graduated acting school from New York, actually, uh, and I think it was 2016. And then I went back to Denmark and I just acted ever since, but I started acting when I was 13 years old. So I started acting in Denmark first and I studied with different actors in Denmark. Amazing, amazing. Wow. Also, we know that Roxy is also an actress in in the Philippines. Yes, so that's there. why I chose her. <laughs> right. So there you go. So we have a we have a two shoe ins for the best actress award. Yes, there you Correct. go. Thank you very much. All right. Do we have another one? Yes we do, of course. Our next one is this next one who is most likely to own a law firm who do you think is most likely to own a law firm i hear uh, papers flying and everything okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure about Five, my answer. four three two one flash your answers Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Right. A lawyer by profession. Okay, right? Yeah. That's yeah. It. So, right? Very, very real. It gets very real. <laughs> cool. Thank you very Let's much. Move on. Is there another one, Evan? Yes, the last one is. The last one would be who would like most likely to be this to be voted sexiest woman alive. Ooh. Who would be voted sexiest woman alive? Oh, Please second choose. to the last, actually. This is the, this is the last one. Second to the last. Oh, second to the last. Okay, mm -hmm. five, four, three, two, one. Flash it. I am all. Sorry. <laughs> 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 that is so sweet. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. It's so sweet. impossible so to choose. Everybody, yeah. everyone. Of course, yes. Everybody answer. supports yeah. everyone. That's so nice. And I honestly, honestly think. Okay, and I've mentioned this before we started. This is your elemental court. The winners for this edition is one of the most beautiful, yes. mm -hmm. beautiful um, queens that we ever had. In so I, I agree out. with you. Beautiful, sexy, intelligent, the complete package, right? That's true. That's true. And agree. because you're, yes, that's true. So that brings us to the last one, Mark. Therefore, who do you think will be the best president of her country? Oh. <laughs> Okay. 
five, four, three, two, one. Flash the answer. Mikala. Four, it's so nine, difficult. Six, I want to. Oh, <laughs> this is, oh, 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 interesting. 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 <laughs> Very equal. Equal, equal choices, know. right? All of them are saying that they will be the best president in their yes. country. Right? So, so what four names. <laughs> so four names. So again, queens uplifting and supporting each other. Yay. Perfect. Yay. Okay. Woo-hoo. Thank you. Maybe we'd like we could hear from our fans what they right. have to say about That's the right. choices. Now, I don't know where to look because there's so many comments right now. Okay. And we have mm, love to see all of this. Number one, they are all super beautiful. Yes, there you go. And Ben Marlowe is also saying, Hi, Queen. So nice to see you all. Hi, Ben Marlowe. Thank Hi, you very Marlo. much for being here. And, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay. Oh, there's a nice question, but maybe we can answer this later. Sky, um, <laughs> please ask your question again later. We'll give you a preview of Sky, Sky's question, but we'll try to go back to this question later during our um, Earthlings Ask segment. But, this is a nice question. So thank you very much for this one. All right. And I'll be going down, 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 down to some of the comments right now because there's so many. Okay. And again, McCoy also has a question. Please ask this again later so when so that we can um, read this again. Okay, Danielle echoes everybody's reactions. I love this batch. And so do we. Okay, there you go. And we actually have another queen right now who's watching Queen Kimberly shouting out to Gliza. Hi, Kim. Queen Kimberly is watching right now our Miss Earth Belgium 2020. There you go. Thank you so much. And I'm looking for something. Uh, there you go. Uh, yes, they're all great. Best ME winners. Love you all. There you go. Thank you very much for all those reactions. <laughs> and we're going to try to read more of them later on. Okay. Do we have any other comments, Mark? Um, they're just saying congratulations. So yes, to, right. Uh, Congra- mention, well, yes, uh, congratulations. Danielle Nicole is saying congratulations, ladies. You've done an amazing job. And um, what else? From or John just- Marzan, according to John Marzan, it's both Lindsay and Stephanie who would likely be Able to have a law firm after yeah. their reign. Oh, Lindsay and Stephanie. Oh, so yeah. Nice one. Nice one there. Thank you. And I and Gabriel, by the way, a big shout out to Gabriel Galvez. Hello, Gabriel. Hi, Gab. He according to Gabriel, Roxy, best actress for Oscars. Uh-huh. <laughs> or Pam Cruz. You there you Pam go. Who's Roxy? <laughs> And, that is so nice. And Park Rin, Park Rin agrees with our comment about Venezuela's abs. <laughs> according, oh. according to Park Rin, Venezuela's abs is like, uh, right? So I'm gonna then. ask a question later about Stephanie's abs. Really, <laughs> I will also ask a question about Lin, for, for for Lindsay about her abs as well. <laughs> like it's more how like you, you know how, getting oh. fit. It's more like being healthy. It's not just about the abs, you know. It's about how to get healthy. And all our queens are very, very, you know, are are models of being healthy, of healthy living. So that's really, yeah. really nice. And now, thank you very much to our fans and to those comments. Now, we go to our next segment. And our next segment is called Picture Perfect. Wow, picture. Our queens are picture perfect. But what is this segment, Noi? What is Picture Perfect? Okay, so for this segment, we um, have gotten a couple of photos from your Instagram accounts. So apologies to our queens. We have kind of... (laughs) Stalked you. Invaded your Instagram accounts. And no, we the word is stalked. stalked. Yes, okay. okay. We stalked your Instagram really? accounts. Don't and that. we took, I think, two. Two from yes. each of your accounts. And we will show them here. And you will have to tell us a story or a fun fact or an interesting story about each of the photos. All right? Just to give our Earthlings an idea who you are outside the pageant or outside Miss Earth. All right? So are you ready for Picture Perfect? Let's okay. Start Let's start off with our first um picture for today. This one okay. is for. I like the I like the length of four. Okay, here we go. Four. Our picture <laughs> perfect. <Very teacher. laughs> for, uh, this is for Mikala. Mikala. <laughs> 
such a beautiful photo. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us the story behind this photo, Mikala? Yes, so I got married and um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I got nervous there. <laughs> Very casual. <laughs> so I actually got married six times within two days, which is kind of uh, incredible, I think. But uh, no, I was doing um, a commercial for Sony, the camera brand. Ooh. Uh, and yeah, so they invited photographers from all over the northern countries like Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. And uh, yeah, I had, you know, I was supposed to be a bride and then I had mm-hmm. my groom. Uh, so yeah, it was a really fun day. Oh, yes. Wow. It's actually a beautiful photo. It is. Okay. Yeah. Um, in relation to that photo, Mikal, uh, allow me to pry a little bit. Since we're talking about weddings and marriage, is Miss Earthfire 2020 in a relationship right now? Mm-hmm. Are you okay to answer that question? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm oh. married to myself. <laughs> oh, perfect. Perfect. Mikal, perfect. You're making us nervous. <laughs> Ma- married to yourself and loving married yourself. Single. Yes. 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 Married yes. to yourself okay. and loving yourself. That is amazing. Thank you so That's much. That's a really great thing to know for all of our fans, right? Miss Fire is, is married to herself. herself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Mikala, for sharing that fun fact about this photo. Really great photo. Thank you so much. Next one, let's now move on to this one. Okay, oh. from... I love this. I also love this so photo. Sexy. Yes. A- any fun story or like any interesting story about this really interesting photo? So I actually took this photo with an amazing photographer in Denmark. I think he's one of the best, Jan Hammerstel. And we were actually supposed to take my headshot for the Miss Earth uh, webpage. And then after we took it, we just started playing a little bit. And because he loves the shapes and light and, you know, black and white. And yeah, we got this photo. And for me, it, it was just such a wholesome photo showing the woman you know as she is Uh, and i think that's the most beautiful part just completely simple clean and i think that's what also a strong woman and miss earth is all about is just embracing yourself with love and and just showing love and positive energy and for me that's what this photo is all about yes right mark this is a really great um really great photo to send that message of like being empowered Uh having self-love for for, for, for being a woman, for being who you are. So great job on that photo as well, Mikala. Thank you so much for sharing and that you. part of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now let's move on to, of course, our Miss Earth Water, Roxy Bayens. They have here a couple of your photos from your Instagram. Let's have the first one. The first one is... Oh my God, I love this oh, one. Yeah. More recent one. Very recent. Yes. Would you mind telling us a story about it? I'm getting goosebumps yes. saying it, but also now that I'm going to tell the story. So we shot this prior to me winning. So we didn't really know that I was going to be a Miss Earth Water, but I think wow. it was a premonition that I was, yeah, I was going to be like a mermaid queen something. So it was a very, it was a very fun shoot. And uh, thank God I wasn't able to post it yet prior to the competition. So I have something, something to post when I was announced as Miss mm-hmm. Earth Water. Yeah. So, so this one is this one this one is actually a really telling photo, so to say. You didn't know that you're going to win Miss Earth Water, but then lo and behold, you were able to have this shot. Now tell us a little bit, Roxy. Um, what was the experience like having that shoot in that very beautiful uh, like scenery? Well, I wanted to swim <laughs> so bad. But no, we have, that to, gown? have to shoot first. <laughs> you can't have fun first. We have to shoot first before you swim. Yeah, okay. And when we ended, it was already nighttime, so no swimming for me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which is sad. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I love the shot. Shout out to the photographer who took it. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to Team Ambagio and Team Pilipinas for the amazing job you've done for all of the shoots for Roxy Bayens. Good job on this shot. Thank you so much, Roxy for sharing that story next one this one's a little lighter oh look at this one oh, oh thank you for choosing <laughs> <laughs> okay what's the, story, what's the story behind this roxy okay so the story behind i do uh, already have uh, seven rabbits 
in wow. when we <laughs> and when we visited the Department of Agriculture when I entered uh this this hallway at the end was like a lot of bunnies. I was like, there there are bunnies here and uh, the farmer was like, "Do you want to have one?" Of, of course, I want to have one. So like, oh, and so funny, so, so, it, it, she's super nice because she nibbles on you. That means she likes you. Yeah, she's oh, super sweet. Yeah, that's, that's Tofi. Yeah. yeah. Okay, she's so really you mentioned good that now. Have, she's small in the picture. Yeah. So you mentioned you have like seven rabbits. Do you know all? They have all names for all of the seven rabbits, and what are the names? Yes. Okay, I have Fabio, Cadus. <laughs> Nuggets, Fabio. biscuits, no cotton tail, tofu, and oh no, what's the other one? I have to think about a snow. Yes, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. great. Amazing. Yeah, so again, Roxy Bayans, aside from being our water queen, is also mm -hmm. a rabbit lover. Yes, actually, animal lover as a whole, right, Roxy? So, really great, really great to know about that. Uh, about uh, that part of you. Thank you so much, Roxy, for sharing. Now, let's move on now to our air queen. Yes. Oh, my God. Air queen. Yes. Stephanie, here are your photos. What is the story behind this first photo? Ooh. Wow. Beautiful as well. So, so hi. I know. <laughs> hi. Yes, okay. this is my favorite. This is my favorite photo because it's my element. I am Miss Earth Air 2020. <laughs> but this photo has a good story. Uh, I prefer I prefer to speak in Spanish because it's yes, a good it's, story. Sure, sure. Mm, sure. En Venezuela somos muy creativos y queríamos reflejar cada elemento antes del concurso, pero no sabíamos cuáles serían los resultados. Well, it, we're usually very creative in Venezuela. We try to be very creative and we wanted to recreate all the elements uh, with, with pictures. We didn't know what the result was going to be, but we wanted to do it. Para mí todo era una sorpresa. El fotógrafo es conocido por tener mucha creatividad. And this is a very famous photographer here and he's renowned for being very creative. Y cuando me coloco el vestido, me encuentro que hay un columpio muy, muy alto donde yo tenía que subirme, y no solo subirme, sino estar de pie. So I just got on the dress and uh, I saw there was a swing, but it was hanging like really up high. I didn't know what to do. And I was a surprise. It was a surprise that it, I had to get up there, not only stay, wow. be there, but stand there, actually. Tengo que confesar que tenía muchísimo miedo, pero lo logré. Y ahora estoy muy orgullosa de mi foto. I must confess, I was very afraid, but I did it, and I'm very proud of that picture. Was a terrible experience for me. <laughs> well, it doesn't really look that way. You look so comfortable in that so picture. So comfortable. You look like you really love being in that swing. Oh, no. Okay, so that's a fun story behind the photo. Thank you so much. And I think it's also um, another way of saying that you want, if you want something um, to happen, you just have to manifest in the universe whatever you want to happen. That was such a great photo of you as an air queen and now lo and behold you are now miss earth air 2020 Agreed. so congratulations stephanie for that Agreed. one Agreed. all right now let's move on to the second photo of stephanie our okay. miss earth air this one's a little bit on oh, oh this one really tender moment with uh, a young girl what's the story wearing the crown right? wearing the crown yes yes uh, she is Stefania. Stefania is a little girl with a uh, una enfermedad renal. With a kidney disease. Yes, ella necesitó un trasplante. Yeah, she uh, she suffers from kidney failure and she needed a transplant. Pero su familia no tenía dinero para lograrlo. But her family could not afford that. Y en Venezuela nos unimos en una campaña para lograr operarla y ahora la niña está Está bien, está saludable. But we set up a campaign and now the girl is fine and the surgery was a success and everything's oh, fine. Oh, wow. Oh. Amazing. See? Wow. Yeah. We don't just have a beautiful Miss Earth air, we also have a very uh, kind hearted, kind hearted uh, Miss Earth air. Mm -hmm. Thank you for helping the girl. Yes. And thank you for sharing that story, Stephanie. Again, um, you don't know how many people how many people are gonna inspire by just sharing Agreed. that story behind that photo. Agreed. So 
good job on that, Stephanie. Thank now let's so move much. on to our, of course, the queen, our Miss Earth 2020, Lindsay Coffey. Here are your picture perfect photos. Let's I have a favorite picture there. Actually, I do have it. <laughs> the first one is. Let's have uh, okay that, this one. This one. I love okay, that. the iconic. Not, right now, yes, it's now iconic. Yes. Yeah. What's the story yeah. behind this gown, Lindsay? So, with my final gown in general, we kind of had, we didn't know what to do because we had such short amount of time before we ended up competing and having to start filming our videos. So we didn't really know which gown to wear, because typically Ashley Loren, who is the designer, they create a custom gown for you. And we didn't have time for that. So we had no idea what gown to wear. And we were just looking through all of our collection, trying to find a gown. And then finally we ended up finding that gold one. And I've never even worn a gold drown, gold gown before. And whenever I put it on, I was just like, this is, this is it. This is the gown that I'm gonna wear for my finals. So it was pretty, uh, it was a good moment to find that V gown that you were going to wear. Yeah, you know what I, what I like about this gown? It somehow closely resembles your skin tone. It's very beautiful yeah. on you. Love That's what they even said as well. So I was like, yeah, I feel like I'm just meant to wear this gown. Perfect. And once again, this is going to be iconic starting to starting the, the very time that you were yeah. around. This is going to be the, the yeah. gown that, that ever's going to remember you on yeah. as a being crowned Miss Earth 2020. So good job to your stylist and your entire team for choosing that gown for you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Let's have, no, this one, this one's actually my personal favorite. This one's kind of on the oh. fun side. <laughs> Sorry for stalking like way down on your Instagram. <laughs> What's the story behind this one? So this was at Disney World in Florida, not the one, not Disneyland in California. So, um, we, I was there with my sister and it was just her and I, and I think this, this was actually the first time ever me actually going to Disney World. So I was so excited. And of course you have to get a photo in front of Cinderella's castle. Like that's just a must. But if you notice, there's no one else in the background and you know, Disney World is very, very busy. So I was, I was sitting there for like hours, photoshopping each person out of the background. <laughs> <laughs> I could just have to the photo and make it look so cool. <laughs> so now it just looks like it's actually my castle and I'm the only one in there. But it was so hard, especially if you see like the door entrance, that little black uh, dot, like yeah. the entrance into it. That was so hard to Photoshop around because <laughs> it was so hard to make the line perfect. And oh my goodness, it took me so long to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So once again, lesson learned about Lindsay Coffee. If you don't want to be photoshopped out of the photo, stay away from the scene. You will be photoshopped yeah. out. <laughs> Just get Amazing. out of the photo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lindsay, for sharing that story. And I think that concludes our picture perfect um segment. Thank you so much, our queens, for sharing a little bit about your lives about who you are outside the pageant. Really great um, insights and interesting stories uh, that you shared with us right now. Right, Emma? Yeah, correct. Yes. And Emma, if you don't mind, because we are also live on the Miss Earth page, the mother mm -hmm. page, mm -hmm. and I know that we will not be able to see some of the comments. I'd just like to give a big shout out to Wilson Orias. According to Wilson, hi, Miss USA. I predicted you now. winning. I was I dreamed about you winning according to wow. Wilson. Wow. Yes. Actually Wilson pinged me the day no, he pinged me the, the day before the coronation and he said, Mark, I have a feeling I had a dream that Lindsay will win. And wow. Lindsay won. So there, a big shout out to Wilson. Another one from Albert. This is I'm reading from the mother page, Miss Earth page. I'm according to Alberto Borromeo Toazon. Um, Mikala looks like Angelina Jolie. She's like Angelina Jolie. I agree. agree. Uh, agree. Uh, All right. Another shout out from Ariane Rica Torres, Queen Roxy. Hello from Ariane. And I think we have a fan from the, for uh, uh, for our queen in Venezuela from Andrew Sevilla Mendoza. My queen is Venezuela. Hope to see you soon here in the Philippines. Congratulations to all of the winners. And of course, hi to Venezuela. According to Andrew, there you go. And we still have a lot of 
a lot of um, comments um, coming in. Probably we could read our comments from the Miss Earth Crown page. Oh my God, really? Okay, <laughs> there's so <laughs> many. <laughs> it's like while you are while you were reading from the Mother page, I was like, okay, so what do I read from here? Because there's so many. Um, oh, there you go. G Gab Galvis is asking Roxy, are you a plantita because you have a very nice background right there? You are, no? I think Roxy is a plantita. I am. Certified plantita. There plant you. auntie. Yeah. Plant. Yeah. Plant. Plant. Maybe we can explain what plantita is plant. to the other girls. Plantita plant. is plant. Plant. Aunt. Aunt. Auntie. 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 Yes, Aunt. There you go. Aunt, auntie. You know, someone Aunt. is really into plants. Yes. There you go. And also another comment um, from Roxy to Stephanie. Stephanie can easily shift from fun to serious mode. Very beautiful. Yes, according to Vanity Gonzalez. What a nice name, Vanity Gonzalez. There you go, Ned. So that's uh, about just just about. Uh, and also, another comment. Uh, Vanity is also saying Lindsay is so spontaneous. Hope he has a lot of U.S. media exposure starting to happen actually right now. We've been seeing some news um, on on some U.S. websites uh, talking about Lindsay. So yes, that is coming true. There you go. And. Also saying uh, that Lindsay, uh, McCoy is saying Lindsay is such a sweet person. Uh -huh. I can feel her aura. I like her to be my friend. There you go. That is so nice. Thank you. Thank you. And Andres is um, um, wishing that uh, Mikala to visit the Philippines. So, so much. So much love for our queens right now. Of course. There you go. And Linnell, of course. Of course, I always believe, believed that Lindsay will win Miss Earth. Love you, Lunel. <laughs> there you go. Another comment, Shen. Um, um, Stephanie says, Stephanie looks like a Hollywood actress. They're, oh, they all do. All Thank you so are. much. Lovely actresses. And, you know, they're queens. They are queens. That's, that's it, right? There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for all those. Now, aside from um, answering those, we've already gotten some background of our queens just based on their photos but right now we would like to ask the queens in focus so we would like to get to know more about our queens and so we are going to ask each one of them some questions that i'm sure you our earthlings would also like to know the answer okay so let's begin okay with let's begin of course with mikala all right mikala so mark of course. So I'll be asking Mikala. You know what, Mikala? I'd like to first congratulate you. Why? Because it's been 19 years after yeah. Katharina Svensson won. And after 19 years, you Thank got you. I'd like to find out how do you feel about that? Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's surreal. It was really unexpected, to be honest, because... Uh, you know, Denmark, as I said, Denmark is a small country and it's been, as you said, 19 years and Denmark usually never plays in, in anything is what I usually say because we don't. Uh, and to be noticed as a country, it's incredible. But apart from that, this is my first pageant. I didn't have any prior experience. And also, um, my manager unfortunately had to leave after only a couple of weeks due to personal issues so i was really trying to to i, I was alone in denmark i i had no one i had no prior experience so it was really learning by doing experience and making a lot of mistakes and then go okay that didn't work let's try something else so it was so when they told me that i was misfire i thought it was a joke i didn't believe it i was like okay <laughs> I agree. I was just to go like <laughs> punt, but yeah. that, that was surreal. And we saw your reaction. I like what I said. I don't know how Carousel or the production people did that. They really wanted to get your reaction. It was so genuine. Mm. One of my most favorite is your reaction. You said, speaking of, is it a joke? Well, how was it <laughs> when you heard you are Miss Earth Fire, Denmark? You're Miss Earth Fire. What was going on inside your head? I was waiting for someone to tell me that I was in an episode of Punk. to be real. <laughs> I, I thought it was a joke. I thought they were filming a reaction or something. And I was just, it, throughout the whole time, I, I couldn't really, I, I didn't really believe it. So I actually had to call them afterwards and be like, so um, am I Miss Fire? <laughs> like, what's going on? So, yeah, it, completely surreal. I couldn't even... 
I couldn't grasp it. I didn't know how to feel at the moment because it was just, I had really hoped to be in top 20. Like that was my biggest wish. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and But top four, that was unimaginable to me. I agree. And you know what? It's, I think it's the result of your hard work. You mentioned a while ago that it wasn't easy for you. Speaking of that, I'd like you to share to us what, was a part of your journey. What was the most challenging part for you in this Miss Earth journey? To, I think, to really navigate the way by myself, you know, after my manager left and, and I was alone with everything. And I just didn't, I, I didn't know what we were supposed to do half of the time. I was just kind of like trying my way in and, and seeing and trying to guess a lot of it was guesswork and what they wanted. And just to get the shoot together, I think for me was really, there was a lot of me sitting in the middle of the night, just calling people, like crying, like, please, can you have a shoot tomorrow? You know, calling makeup artists and stylists. So. It, it was really a learning experience, but for me, it was so empowering afterwards to see what you can accomplish by yourself if you really put your mind to it. And also just seeing how amazing the people around me were, my support system, that they were just so readily and willingly to jump in and help and or recommend people who could help. So that Agreed. was amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I agree. You mentioned that it was an empowering experience for you. You could accomplish a lot of things if you put your focus on it. One word that will describe what you've learned. Could you please give us one word, what you've learned? Oh my, why are you doing this to me? (laughs) (laughs) One word, really? Don't worry, we'll also make it difficult for the others. (laughs) I I will say growth as the one word. Just growth you know, experience grow with my heart, you know, the love that I, I, I got and got back and the positive energy just grow in all ex- aspects of the journey. We love that Amazing. growth. Thank you so Amazing. much, Mikala. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Mikala. All right. Now, speak, now let's go to our next queen. Let's go to Roxy. So Roxy, I will be asking you um, some questions. So in, in, for Miss Earth um, 2020, is Roxy here with us right now? Roxy, hi. Yes. Okay, there you go. There you go. So, for Miss Earth 2020, you are coming in already as someone who has had an experience in virtual pageant. And I think we've interviewed you before, we interviewed you before or in the middle of um, all the happenings of Miss Earth 2020. And you said somehow you've brought with you some experience, um, some experiences from Miss Philippines Earth which was a local virtual pageant. But going into Miss Earth 2020, what else were new to you or what else have you learned in the process? Roxy? So I think... Is, is, is it only from my end or Roxy's having some technical difficulties right now? Can we yeah, all... I, I, uh, I think Roxy has, uh, Roxy's signal is a bit oh, intermittent. Oh, Roxy. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we're going we're gonna to have you back in a bit, Roxy, okay? So we're going to go back to you. But for now, let's um, jump in. Yes, yes, we're going to go back to you, Roxy, for a while while we fix your signal. But right now, Noi, let's try to... Um, move on and uh, move over yes. to Stephanie first before we go back to Roxy. Yes, so Stephanie, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, definitely for this edition, all eyes were on you, Yes. right? To um, get Venezuela back into the semifinal finals, uh, at least for the Miss Earth 2020. My question is, was there any extra pressure for you to make Venezuela bounce back at Miss Earth during this edition? Well, is, this is a good question for me because it's not a secret that in Venezuela we have uh, beauty pageants lovers. Yes. Um, yes. Muchísimas personas tenían las esperanzas de que yo lo lograra porque no es un secreto que el año pasado no logramos clasificar en el top. Well, yes, a lot of people were hoping I would win the crown because it's not a secret. They always wanted to win the crown. And last year, we didn't make it to the top four. 
what was a, a big challenge in my life because it was my first time in a in an online contest and uh, the language was other big challenge in my life because our native language is Spanish but I consider that I have learned about perseverance and that nothing is impossible. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. Yes, that's actually well said, Stephanie. Now, um, since you mentioned something about the competing um, on the virtual pageant for the very first time, maybe is there any like fun or funny story about like the behind the scenes um, while doing the videos, while doing the the online um, the online segments for Miss Earth? Was, is there anything that you'd like to share to us that happened behind the scenes that nobody knows about? Una de las de las competencias más difíciles para mí fue la competencia de traje de baño porque la grabé en una locación un poco atípica y arriesgada. Uh, one, of, one of the most difficult activities, one of the most difficult competitions was the beachwear competition, the witch bear shoot, because I did it in a bit of an unusual location. Mm. Esa competencia fue grabada en un helipuerto, en una zona muy, muy alta de Venezuela, donde solo se veían las montañas, y para mí fue realmente increíble y me dio muchísimo miedo. We, sh we shot that in a, actually in a helipad on top of a very yeah. tall yeah. building yeah. where yeah. You, you could see the mountains of the entire city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We saw that. Yes, we saw that. That's, yes. actually, that's actually a really great video, and we, I, we, I think we should agree that that's a, one one of the highlights for you, Stephanie, during the pageant. Like one last question, Stephanie. Since you have made like relationships and friendships um, along the way during Miss Earth 2020, for example, since you are an eco angel, quote unquote, if you could magically fly to three different countries right now. Okay, to three, to three different countries right now and meet your three fellow eco angels. What three countries are they going to be and why? Most importantly, I really want to go to Philippines. This is my, this is my first place. Um, I really want to go to Costa Rica because Kelly Avila is a, a good friend for me. Of course, I would like to go to USA to meet with Lindsay, but I really want to go to USA with Lindsay, Mikala, and all my queens. And you too. And we actually do hope, right, Mark and Emmon, that we are going to see all of yes. the, the elemental queens traveling Together. around the world, Agreed. not only in three countries, right. but then across the globe. And right. we can't wait for all of the travels to happen, right? Agree. And yeah. speaking of that, the fans in the Miss Earth mother page are already shouting that I hope they said that they hope that all of the queens will visit the Philippines. Yes, please. So they'll be either ground here in the Philippines or do a media media tour here in yes. the Philippines. They're very your fans are very excited to meet you all. Yes. We thank you Stephanie for good. answering my questions. Back to you, Eman. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, now let's check on Roxy again. Roxy, are you back? Let's see. Let's let's check first on Roxy. So if not, then of course ah, is there, ah, so Roxy's screen is still freezing right now. So it's okay. So I think we're having some um, internet connection problems with Roxy right yeah. now. But while we are also waiting for Roxy, let, of course, let's shift the focus to our queen of 2020, our Miss Earth 2020, Lindsay Coffee. Hello, Lindsay. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. So I'm, we're actually going to be asking you some of the questions also that the fans would love to know. Okay, like what... It was such a memorable moment when the when James Deacon announced that you were Miss Earth 2020. It was just an emotional moment, not only for you, but for also for all of us. And so we would like to know... Wait, um, Emma, please tell hmm. Lindsay what was your reaction when you saw her crying. You have what? to tell her the truth. What did you do? 
when you saw I, her crying, what did you do? Tell me. I, I cried too. I was actually <laughs> crying. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we are crying together. Right? No, I think along with along with so many Earthlings around the world that you know, we were all very emotional because there the two things. No, not only because you know we've been following Miss Earth, uh, the Queens as as a pageant pageant media. It was like it was a combination of so many things, and also seeing you culminate your journey, the pageant journey. Not not of course not yet your Miss Earth, but the pageant journey. With that victory, it was such an emotional. Right, so it was really, really um, beautiful moment. Now, I would like to ask you. Speaking of that moment, speaking of that moment, we already, uh, you already told in one of the interviews uh, who you were with, no, um, during that time. But we would like to know. I don't know if you can tell, um, tell this to our Earthlings if you can reveal this. Like the show, the coronation show was a Sunday morning in the Philippines. When did you actually know that you were already Miss Earth 2020? Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, are we? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually not sure about that. <laughs> All right, but if 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 since we're not sure, let's be safe. You know, um, if we're not allowed to say that yet, so it's a, like a secret by Miss Earth right now. But between the moment, um, between the moment that you knew you were already miss earth 2020 whether it's a few minutes before the actual coronation show was um aired on online what did you do what did you do during that that uh moment between you knowing and between the coronation show i mean i just i I just still thought it was a joke somehow. <laughs> so, like, it was honestly, you could see my reaction. It was so hard for me to believe that they weren't joking because I thought it was just like, I, I don't know. I just didn't think it was real. And I thought maybe since it was virtual, maybe they were just testing me to see like, oh, in case I won, this is like how I, that's how I should react. Like, I don't know. So whenever I found out in my head, I was like, what if they like come message me afterwards and they're like okay that was actually a joke we're kidding like you actually didn't win but like sit tight stay tuned like so i honestly just it didn't it didn't really hit me that mm -hmm. sink in and it's still it's still it's it's sunk in a little bit more now but i honestly i had such a hard time believing that this was like factual information <laughs> amazing amazing so Right after it was announced that you won, so what was the first thing that you did? What was the first thing that you did? Well, of course, the first thing that I did was just hug everybody. <laughs> so, I mean, I was so just grateful, and I had so much of this amazing energy running through me. And then, of course, I immediately ended up taking to Instagram to just, like, share the news and spread it and just show my gratitude and how thankful I was and what I'm expecting and what I hope to achieve. So I, yeah, so I basically just hugged my friends, and I ended up just saying thank you to everybody on my Instagram. So, oh, and then I also, um, I had some cake as well. <laughs> Deserved, well deserved, yes. very well deserved cake. Thank you very much for answering that question, Lindsay. Now, uh, I'll turn you over to Mark and Noy for um, some more questions. I know they they also have questions for our team, guys. Yes, I have a question for Lindsay. I remember. Let me just turn back time. Mm. A few when you were crowned Miss Earth USA. A few hours hours after that, we interviewed you, and then now we're interviewing you as Miss Earth. 2020. Oh my God, it's giving me goosebumps. You were our first interview. How much have you grown from that point to this point? I have grown so much and just in being able to interact during these virtual interviews. So whenever I even just first started talking, I mean, by the time I was speaking to you guys, I was still a little bit just better at it overall, but I just ended up getting more comfortable being virtual. I ended up getting more confident with myself, comfortable with myself, and knowing at that point, I was kind of already even knowing how I was being translated and coming off through the computer. So, I mean, I've grown just so much during this entire, this entire journey. And I'm just so grateful you guys were able to see that as well. So, I mean, yeah. 
yeah. just having that connection with you guys, just from that crowning to this crowning and us obviously not knowing what was going to happen. So, I mean, just having people like this on the, my journey and just getting close and having that connection with what one another has really helped me just kind of grow and just advance myself. So this, I'm just so grateful for all of that. I, I agree. I remember when you when we first interviewed you, we were even given a we were I think we were given a heads up by Laura, Laura Clark. Laura said, Mark, please be careful and take care of Laura uh, take care of Lindsay. <laughs> And then yes. she said, this is her first time, first interview with you, first ever interview, so please be careful. You know what? You've grown a lot, yeah. and I'm so proud of that. You've gone full circle from that first ever interview to this moment. Congratulations. We're so proud of that. Proud of you and proud of your growth. Yes. Thank you. you have any questions? Yes. So maybe, Emma, we can go now to Roxy before we move on to our next round of questions. That's right? true. Thank you very much, Lindsay, for asking, you, that, Lindsay. For, for asking, for answering our questions. <laughs> Roxy, hey. Yeah. Hi, no problem, no problem. We, we understand. That, <laughs> you know, naman, yeah. our internet I mean, here after, in the yeah. months, after <laughs> almost three months of uh, Miss Earth, um, we already understand how some... Sometimes it's hard to connect with the internet, you know. But thank you, Roxy. I was I was asking you a while back. So even though you already experienced being in a virtual pageant for Miss Philippines Earth, what was new or what else did you learn in your journey uh, on the Miss Earth 2020 virtual stage? Well, it was de definitely very different from when I competed during Miss Philippines Earth to Miss Earth. Because during Miss Philippines Earth, I had no resources at all. Yeah. And when I won, that's when I started receiving all the help. So if you remember, sir, if you remember my my plain white background, and right. I just had like two plants covering the plug, so it won't right. look it won't look bad. And it was it wasn't the best production I had. So I said if I will win. If I win and get to compete the second time, I would really give my all. And it's my dream. Like when you have the swim swimsuit competition, I dream to have it beside a pool or beside a beach. So it's a dream come true. And it just makes me cry how much different it was this time. And I, ha I had such an amazing experience for the second time. That's true. That's true. And I think a lot of that amazing experience has to do with, the, as you said, with the people behind you. So if there are people who you'd like to thank, who who are these people who you'd like to thank for for bringing you to that point in your journey on Mr. Twenty? Definitely, Team Philippines. They also did want to help me when I was in Manila, but I was locked down there. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Baguio, binhos talaga like they gave full effort. Mm -hmm. So I'm so grateful for my K familia and of course K familia Baguio and of course Sari and Fernandez for the gowns, the beautiful gowns, and of course everybody who showed their unconditional love and support. Yes, and speaking of speaking of Rian Fernandez, yes. Noy, right? Can you tell yes. can you tell them something about the video? Correct. Yes, because because Emma and, um, and Mark and all, all of our viewers, we reposted the Rian Fernandez um video. Made, video, the making of the gown of Roxy Banks, a Highland Maiden. And to all of the fans, that video that we reposted already garnered one, one million, million views. views as of today. My Congratulations goodness. to Team Philippines and to Roxy. Wow. Team Roxy. We, didn't yeah. we didn't expect that. Yeah, yeah so same Roxy. here. Same here. What? A million views. A lot of one people million like views. My God. <laughs> Admiring. Yeah. Thank you very much. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that gown, the inspiration behind the Highland Maiden uh, gown that you, that Rian Fernandez, a really talented uh designer friend of mine also the, the story behind that yeah it was actually a surprise i knew it was green but i didn't expect it to look like that like it was a surprise when they showed me the gown and i just wanted to paint but it was definitely inspired by my roots since i am a granddaughter of farmers and of course in the cordillera from where i am from we have the famous rice terraces so that's where it was inspired some people would say poison ivy and i'm like oh yeah it, it looks it kind of looks like poison ivy but it's really banawi rice terraces mm, amazing thank you very much yes thank you so much for that thank you so much roxy uh yes uh internet despite the internet connection we are still here with us thank you very much and thank you of course to all our Queens, of course, thank you, Mikala, Roxy, Stephanie, and of course, Lindsay for Emma, me. is it okay if I add something? Uh, of course. Now is the time for us to ask any of our queens. No, actually, the this batch is historic because they are the first ever batch who won 
the virtual edition of yeah. Miss Earth. Please take note that Miss Earth is the only major pageant who proceeded with their pageant because of the advocacy. So it's quite historic. Mm -hmm. Not only that, this batch is pretty much historic because like what I've said, let's start with Roxy. For the past four years, since 2017, the Philippines has been placing. Mm -hmm. And then Roxy's video garnered one million views. Oh that's one, that's another history. For Venezuela and Philippine, for Venezuela and USA, they have officially completed all of the crowns, meaning they got all of the crowns of Miss Earth, Miss Earth, oh Fire, God. Water, Air, and Miss Earth. Woohoo! Historic, right? And USA, for the first time, already got their first Miss Earth crown. Woo! Another history, historic. Again, I've mentioned this a while ago for Mikala. After 19 years, she has broken the drought. Uh, after 19 years of uh, Katharina Svensson winning, she won Miss Earth Fire. Congratulations Yay. to this beautiful and historic batch. Yay. Correct. Very good. And since this is a historic batch, a lot of our Earthlings would love to know more about yes. you. And so it's time for our hashtag Earthlings Ask. So we're going to have Yay. we're going to have time for a few questions from our fans. So please ask away for those who ask the the very beginning of our show. I'm so sorry. It would, it's going to be hard to go back all the way up. So please ask those questions again. You can ask the questions and, now. Ask yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. So there you go. Um, please ask those questions. But while we're waiting for your questions, let us um, look at some of the comments as well. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, let's cool. Cooleen. Cooleen is asking Lindsay. Lindsay, so did you call Laura after you won? If yes, how did she react to it? <laughs> so for, for those of you who do not know, Laura right now is in Switzerland. So there is a different in time zones. So I will say I did call her and <laughs> she did not know. And I messaged her. I was like, did you hear? And she was like, hear what? And I was like, call me. And so we kept trying to call each other. But if for some reason, the call was not going through. And then I she was like, what is it? Just tell me. And like, I, I, of course, I'm not going to text her this information. I need to call her. So then I ended up getting through to her on like Facebook Messenger video. And then uh, we end up talking and I tell her and I'm like, I, I won. And she literally she just looks at me and she's just like in shock. Like she didn't say anything for like a few seconds. And she just looks at me with like a slight smile on her face. And she's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, I won. And she was, she was so shocked. I mean, she, she was so happy. Like, I mean, we made history, you know? So, I mean, it was, it was so fun for me to actually get to tell her that information, but uh, it was, it was a good one. Amazing. That was such a wonderful, like, uh, wonderful moment. Imagine, you know, despite the, the time zones and like all just, it's, it's just so beautiful. Right. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you very much for that. Also, there's another yeah. question. Am I, is it okay if I ask something from the Miss Earth main page? Of course, of course. There you All go. Right. We have a fan from the Philippines. His name is Jess Tolentino. And this question is for Stephanie. Yeah. Stephanie, please tell us about your gown, your finals gown, because yeah. it's very gorgeous. El, el traje de la final fue de una diseñadora de República Dominicana llamada Yanina Azar. The, the final gown, the, the gown that I wore in the finals is from a designer from Dominican Republic called Yana Azar. Cuando tuve que probarme muchos vestidos, me sentí como lo que cuentan las novias cuando se van a casar. Y cuando te pones el vestido, dices, este es mi vestido y con este voy a ganar. So, of course, I tried on many dresses, but I think I felt what a, what a woman feels when she's going to get married. She's trying on the dresses. It's like, this is it. When I tried that one, and I, I felt that's this amazing. is it. Thank you. Oh, that's a, nice, wow. that was a nice question. Thank you for that question. Now I have a question here coming in. And a question and a request. And uh, let's see if we will be granted. Now from, this is from Whoa. Mildred Cruz Refran. Hello, Mikala. What is your favorite song? And if you'd like to, can you sing it to us? Sample, sample, sample. So this sample. is a weird thing about me. <laughs> I don't have favorites of anything. So I don't have like a favorite song. I love all music. I love all genres. So 
We have pop, hip hop, classic, uh, alternative, alternative rock, classic rock. So I honestly enjoy every type of music except except screamo, like the time where it's literally just somebody screaming into the mic. I mean, I don't really, I can't really resonate with that, but I love every other type of music. So as for my favorite song, I mean, there's just so many that I enjoy. What's, I'm, and there's like popular songs around the world worldwide that everyone knows. So like, if we all want to sing that one, I think that would actually be fun. So if you guys even know any songs that you want to sing, then we could have like a group song, like group, uh, we could even audition for like uh, American Idol or whatever here. I think they're the voice is casting their next round. So we can put like a little group together and sing a song. That's right. Yeah, so many popular songs around the world, right? Um, yeah, you know, we wish we could actually sing one all together but we've we've actually tried it before, and it it's so bad because the the lag, <laughs> the online lag, a lag. never never be. allow us Can to sing the song as we want live. to. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. That makes sense. But thank you. We we've already heard you in your talent um competition, Lindsay, and your voice is so beautiful. So thank oh, you thank very you. much for that. Same question goes to Mikala. So Mildred is also asking Mikala, what is your favorite song? Yeah. Oh, I hoped you would only ask Lindsay. <laughs> well, if you can tell us, then maybe we can search for it and then yeah, go, oh, this is Mikala's favorite. Oh, I think right now actually one of my favorite songs. I have two. So one is Wonder by Sean Mendes. And I just discovered it yesterday and I listened to it and I was like, wow, that is so beautiful and also very holiday is. So there's something very serene about that song that I really like. Another song, and I have to say, I have my entire life been a huge fan of a band called Tokyo Hotel, which is a German band. Probably no one knows them. They used to have like crazy hair and makeup, like a, fr a front singer. It looked so cool. And they used to look like him in school. They used to have like black hair and black makeup and studs all over and leather clothes. So I was a... Uh, <laughs> Um, but they they just released a new version of their original song called Monsoon, mm -hmm. and that's one of my favorite songs. I mean, that song was what put them on the charts all over the world, and it's such a beautiful song. So amazing! Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, Monsoon. Remember that Earthlings? That's a, uh, that that song. We'll try to look for it and see. Oh, this is uh, Mikala's favorite song, and uh, probably it will also give us the same feeling that you get whenever you. Um, here okay. in that song. Thank you very much. And I, aside yeah. from that, that question, there's another request coming from a fan. Mm -hmm. From McCoy Avellino. Stephanie, all, a lot of the fans actually have been asking for this one. Stephanie, can you show who your interpreter is? <laughs> because our fans feel or think that he is handsome. Why? And Earthlings. Oh my God, Earthlings. My, my interpreter... My interpreter right now, it's like, really? No, please. <laughs> One second. One second, yes. <laughs> All of the fans, we granted your request, okay? Hello. Hi. Hello, Hi. Hello Mr. Interpreter. <laughs> There you, go. Uh, there you go. There you go. You granted the request. Okay. My God, Earthlings. <laughs> there you there go. You Thank go. you very much. There you go. And we have more questions. Do you have any more questions coming from your end? We actually have a lot of um, questions um, online. There you go. Uh, aside from the request uh, to show um, Stephanie's interview. Yep. There's a question coming from the Miss Earth main page, Ninoska mm -hmm. Verdadero. He'd ah, like okay. to ask uh, Mikala, I'm just curious um, about your crown that you, were, that you wore a few days ago. Can you tell us about it? Ah, Mikala, yeah. I was about to say, what <laughs> I had, because I had two crowns that I've been wearing. One was the historic Danish crown inspired by the Game of Thrones, or is it the other, the smaller one? I think the other smaller one. The other smaller okay. one. Well, it came from the same place anyways. <laughs> but I got that crown from Claudia, who is Miss Earth 2016, and who has been an amazing support system for me. And one day she brought this crown and she was like, well, you have to wear a crown. You don't have one. You need to wear it. And it just started like this good luck charm. So I started wearing it and it was like having her with me. Amazing, yeah. Wonderful. And I love, I love your main Miss Earth crown, the one that looks like... Uh... 
I don't know. It's, it's it, it, as if it's it was taken from a movie. It's a very beautiful. The Game of Thrones, one. yes, Game the Lion King, King Spy one. Very nice crown. Right. Thank you. Thrones. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mikola. And now we have a question for Lindsay. So this is a nice question. You are you are already a success model. I wonder how you knew about Miss Earth and why you chose to join Miss Earth and not other pageants. So this is a big one because the modeling industry and the pageant industry are so separated and I knew nothing about it. So literally nothing. When I did kind of look into pageantry and just kind of put my little toe in the water just to test it, um, I, I received so many DMs telling me like all about these different pageant systems. So I ended up hearing about Miss Earth and I ended up looking into it. But before, before I think this was... Um, at the end of last year, end of 2019. So before that, I, I've never heard of the system before. So mm -hmm. having somebody tell me that, me looking into it and being like, why haven't I known about this? This honestly represents all of my priorities and it aligns with everything that I've always believed in. And it seems so perfect. And I was like, how didn't I see this before? So when, as soon as I found out, I was like, I need to involve myself in this. I need to get into this somehow. And that's kind of just what, like pushed me into it and that's from the very beginning like i said the stars just kept aligning and told me that i was just meant to do this because everything fell into place perfectly so i just found out in time to apply and then i ended up just making the age cut off and i mean it just spoke to me it honestly felt the miss earth system felt like an extension of myself before i even participated so it was so important for me to just experience that and give everything I have into something that I've already been giving myself to. So I, I had to do it. And indeed, you've given everything that you have. And now look at you. You already have the crown right. um, of Miss Earth 2020. Yes. Thank you. One? Yeah. Okay. Yes. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much. I think we have another question, Emin, from uh, Nonne. Yes. Yeah, for Roxy this time from Kulin Lang. Roxy, um, want to know if you have, if want to know if you have a boyfriend already. My if God. Yes. How did he react about your Is win? Your how did he react to your win? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. A very supportive one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I knew he was holding back, but I, I was going to see tears falling down. <laughs> we were scared that we were going to get anything at all. So when we, when we heard Miss Earth, from eight, from, from eight, when we heard Miss Earth water, we just all, we, we just all wanted to cry. <laughs> so yeah, I was very happy. We saw that. Yeah, we saw that moment yeah. when you were watching together, when you had a watch party with your team, your close friends and everybody. So that was fantastic. Yeah, with Gianna, with Mars friends as well. Uh, uh, maybe one more um, um, question, Roxy. How was the atmosphere during the viewing party in Baguio? Yes. When you were finally officially announced, what was the reaction of the people in Baguio? Sorry, one more time. One more time. Sorry. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you said that you had a viewing party with, of course, um, the, the people of Baguio and your friends. What was the reaction? What was the atmosphere when you were finally officially announced as Miss Earth Water? I'm sure it was. Well, that. Oh, sorry, sorry, Roxy, we can't hear you. Okay. Okay. There you go. So it was a very fun time. My family was there. My boyfriend was there. Team Philippines was there. And the atmosphere was very chill. Like, besides rooting for me during the time, we were rooting for other candidates. We were like, go Japan, go, go to um, hands, go like USA. We were, we were rooting for all the other candidates. So, so we were just, if we don't get anything, I as well just enjoy, right? So mm -hmm. I, that was the atmosphere. It was so chill. That's why when I was announced, Miss Earth, what we were like, what really? <laughs> and then we had a blast and ate so much for the first time. Or so many pizza, so much pizza and chicken. Pizza. <laughs> if it was, if it was cake for Lindsay, it was pizza for you. Yes. Yeah. Party, pizza party. There you go. Yes. 
And there's have, another question. Thank you so much, Roxy, for answering that. We have a question from the Miss Earth Mother page. This question is for all of the girls, and mm -hmm. it's coming from Maria, Mariah, Mariah Ogai. What do you think is the importance of the element given to you to our world? Wow. wow. Good wow. question. It's like we're Here in we the final ni questions. finals night pageant. I love it. We could probably start with Mikala. Yeah. What do you think is the importance of the element given to you to our world? You know what, I think that no matter what element you got, I think the, the message is the same and I think all of them is equally important. The issues that we face are globally and we are facing issues within all of our elements actually. You know, we see wildfires, we have uh, air emissions, we have, we're facing a problem with the entire earth and you know waters air and fire it's all you know it's all issues that we need to face and they're all connected to what we're doing to our earth right now so i think all of them is equally important thank you so much all right thank you mikala thank How you about roxy I just want to share the comments I've been seeing online saying Ocean Park is proud of you. My Nilad is proud of you. <laughs> Manila Waters, Manila Bay is proud of you. So that's very funny. But I think I really, <laughs> but I really think this title is for me also because of that. They commented about it too, the typhoon here in the Philippines. And we are suffering a lot also with marine biodiversity loss. So I think this is, this is very relevant for the Philippines mostly that we have a lot of islands and I think this would push me to expand my advocacy and more a more holistic not just not just my urban gardening and agriculture but also maybe mangrove reforestation with DNRs and of course uh, marine life preservation and protection so it's it's really gonna be a lot of fun in a very fulfilling rain for this entire year so that it means the world to me being a mermaid <laughs> being Miss Earth Water Thank you Roxy Stephanie Yes, as a, as a Miss Earth there 2020, I would like to create awareness about it's not a secret that there is a lot of pollution in our environment. Air pollution is the biggest environmental issue and the biggest air polluter are us with our behavior, with our actions, with our environment. And I firmly believe that the best way to create awareness about this real and critical fact is being a good example, a role model for other people. Mm -hmm. I really want, I'm really proud to be part of Miss Earth organization because I consider they are the perfect platform in which I can be a role model. And I can use my voice to give a voice to the voiceless. I really want to promote education to people around the world because I consider education is the foundation for every society. And I know that we are living in, in a difficult time in Venezuela. We are living with a lot of restrictions, but when we finally overcome this crisis, uh, I am sure that I will be visiting Venezuelan schools, promoting education and important information about current situation. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Well said. And of course, our Miss Earth, Lindsay. So I couldn't hear the initial question. I have a good idea of what it was, but my connection ended up um, being a little faulty as I'm still frozen. Um, what was the question? What? The question is, what is the importance of the elements that, are, that were given to you and how is it important to our world? In your okay. case, the Earth. Uh, yes, so I figured that was going to be something like that. Um, I'm still frozen on my end. If I'm moving on yours? Yes. Okay. Uh, catching up, actually, yeah. Okay. So, so with Miss Earth, I mean, with all of the elemental courts, that's why I really enjoyed finding out that we did have an elemental court because with the Earth, we do have all ele element and elements and every element is equally as important because without that element, we wouldn't have life and life is Earth. So when... I think of even my title, we have so many contributors to the climate crisis, such as like my advocacy, the water crisis, biodiversity loss, global warming, pollution. So all of those do affect our each individual elements as well. And with the earth and just life overall, I mean, our biodiversity loss, our, uh, we need more ecological restoration to kind of bring that life cycle back to its natural state and to have balance in our ecosystem. So 
being able to advocate for our titles and each ind title individually as well, I think is a great opportunity because all of these elements have to be advocated to an equal extent because the importance of balance is indisputable. Without balance, even a minor imbalance will cause a significant effect and wreak havoc among all ecosystems across the board and all animals across the spectrum, humanity as well, also our economy. So with having these titles, our respective titles, it is a great opportunity to share that with everybody and to really make it known that this is why we even have that elemental court in the first place, because this all ties in together. Amazing. There you go. Amazing and well said. That's I think that answers the question coming from Mariah. Thank for you. Right, and that's very important. It's in this the balance, maintaining the balance is indisputable. Yes. That's why every all the elements and of course coming into the earth are very, very important. And speaking of important, thank you very much, our earthlings, for asking those important questions. Thank you. And of course, thank you so much, our team for answering. We are almost at the end of our show for tonight. And we have we have we've been having so much fun. And you know, we have been getting so much information, so much answers, so much from our queens tonight. But now it's time to to give them something too. We didn't tell the, the this to our queens, but we prepared something for you. And we tried our best to get some special messages for our queens tonight. Okay, so Hopefully, yes, we, we tried our best to get some special messages for our queens for tonight. And we are going to show you these messages, okay? And we would like to start with our Miss Earth Fire, Mikala Rubinstein. Okay, let's see. So we, we have someone here who um, would like to give you a message. Okay, let's watch. Let's watch this. If uh, Yes, there you go. Here you go. Hi, Miguela. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, I am so proud of you. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Gloria, Miss Earth Denmark 2016. And I've been so privileged to be the coach of Miguela, and now I have become her Earth sister as well. Um, I'm so proud of you, and I think that everyone by now can see that you have such a big heart, and your heart really beats for this cause and for the environment. Uh, I also want to congratulate our new Miss Earth 2020, uh, Lindsay. You are such a big role model, and Mikala speaks so highly of you. Uh, to our Miss Earth um, Air, you are such a nice girl as well, and wow, your catwalk is really, really amazing. Good job, girl. You, you really rock that catwalk. Uh, and for um, Miss Earth Water, you're just such a big role model. And I know that you will do a big difference uh, doing your reign for the Philippines and every, all the fans there. Um, so, yeah, congratulations to all of you. And uh, thank you for having me today. Oh. Yes, she's please, such please, a sweetheart. She is so sweet. I mean, mm -hmm. so what is your message? Oh my God. I would just say thank you so much. I mean, she has been such a support system for me and so much help when I didn't really have anyone else to lean on. So she, I mean, the, the amount of, of just love and positive energy and help that I got from her, just emotional support. And she actually, because when we had the finals, that was in the middle of the night in Denmark, and she was in uh, Jutland, which is northern uh, Denmark. And she woke up, she set her alarm clock to the middle of the night, at three o'clock in the morning to watch it and, and be with me on the phone while we were watching it. So it was just, thank you so much. That's, she's amazing. She is, yeah, she is amazing. She is your team. The team, all the team you'll ever need. And thank you so much, Claudia, for supporting and helping out, of course, our Miss Earth Fire, Nicola. There you go. That was a special message for our Miss Earth Fire, Nicola. Thank you so much, Claudia, for giving uh, us time for that. And now, let's go to our Miss Earth Water, Roxy Bay. So here are the messages that your friends and your loved ones have for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, Miss Reporter. I'm so very proud of you. Grabe. Parang kailan lang ang line na ng narating mo, nakaka-proud ka, super. Sobrang happy kami sa'yo. And we're always here for you to thank you. We love you. Thank you, Rocky. Um, your success for being our Miss Earth Water 2020. Um, you truly deserve all the love, all the blessings you have been receiving, and all the success that you have achieved so far. Um, mainly because of your pure heart and your kindness and your love for our mother earth um i just want to say thank you too for being uh, a role model to us all especially for us as Aaron beauty queens um i wish you nothing but the best in life especially on your reign as our miss earth mother um, we hope to see you soon and we love you Hi, Labs. Huge congratulations again for being crowned Miss Earth Water 2020. Very well deserved to you and your team. And I'm so, 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 so proud of you. I'm just so amazed at how much you've grown as a person in the last few years and how much passion, dedication, and hard work you've put into achieving your dreams and your goals while keeping your feet on the ground and keeping true to yourself. I'm sure that whatever you do next, you will succeed and know that I'm always here for you. See you real soon, little sis. Love you. Hi, Roxy. Congratulations for winning the Spirit Water 2020. Your team, Familia, is so proud of you. Nagsita naman talaga, nag-iusap talaga ng matinding effort in preparation ng new Mr. 20. And it's paid off. At we know that you will be a good steward of the environment, that you are always in here at home. Again, good luck, and may you have a fruitful day. There you oh, go. So good for your greeting, Rocky. What thank you, say? thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anong masasabi mo doon? What can you tell the, the, those people who gave you messages? Uh, first of all, kay Kuya Mik, because the first the first guy who showed up, he's the one who first found potential in me when I was college. And I was very awkward, had braces, had no idea I have the potential to be a beauty queen. So I believed in myself because he first believed in me. So I think I am here where I am now. It, that's because of him. And of course, Dean, I have a fun fact because Dean is going to, I'm going to spoil it. Dean, Dean is going to join Miss Philippines Earth next year. <laughs> ah. Yeah, she's going to join the second girl, the very beautiful, yeah. stunning girl. She's going to join. Yeah. So do expect her. And of course, my sister, I love my sister so much. She's so supportive. Like, hands down, she's the best sister anyone could ever ask for. And I love them all so dearly. And of course, Tito Raj of my K Familia. Grab it. Tito is the one helping me with everything. And also, I'm not here if it weren't for him. So I owe it all to them. And I hope, I just, I'm just, I just hope I made them proud. So much love. Thank you so much, Pa, for gathering those videos, for taking the time. Sure <laughs> did. Sure did. You, you definitely made everybody proud, especially in the Philippines. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much, Roxy. Now let's go to Stephanie. To Stephanie. Yeah. We have a very special person. Who wants to... We have a very special person who wants to greet you. Actually, there was some trouble in sending the video because uh, of um, maybe internet problems, but we tried our best to put it together. And I'm sure the message is still clear. And this is for you. Okay. So, Stephanie, this is the special person who wants to give you a message. Hola, 
Wow, de verdad que, que sos una de las mejores cosas que me pasaron durante este mi search y a pesar de que fue de manera virtual, estoy demasiado contenta de haber podido conectar contigo y tú sabes cuánto deseo reunirme para conocerte en persona. Yes, there you go. There was actually an English part of that, but um, because of um, some connection problems, maybe Kelly can tell you the English part next time. Yeah. But what, oh my God. what can Thank you say you about so it? I have no words. It, this is a surprise for me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Crown, for this opportunity, for this interview, for the surprise. Thank you so much, Ke Kelly from Costa Rica is is an important person in my life because uh, we we have been practicing and living really nervous during all the competition uh, so, uh, Support, supporting each other yes thank you so much thank you thank you very much yes, there you go so like yes even even our Even some of our Earthlings were surprised that Kelly was there to give you a message. So thank you. Thank you very much, Queen Kelly, for that message for our queens. And thank you. And thank you very much, Stephanie. And now, finally, we have our Miss Earth 2020, Lindsay. There are some people who would like to give you their special messages. And here they are. Lindsay, we are all so proud and so thrilled. We could not imagine a better representative of not only the United States, but the entire world. Congratulations on Miss Earth 2020. We are so excited for you and we are with you and behind you every step of the way. Congrats on an amazing win, Lindsay. You made history as the first ever Miss Earth USA to win Miss Earth. I wish you all of the success during this year as your reign as Miss Earth 2020, and I'm so proud. Hey, Lindsay, Miss Earth USA Water 2020, Autumn here. Um, I am just coming to say congratulations on your achievement as Miss Earth. You are the first USA representative to do so, and we could not be prouder. You have used your title as Miss Earth USA to make a difference and to really use this platform to be a voice um, advocating for the world and environmental justice. And it's awesome to see you're a true beauty for a cause. And I cannot wait to see what you do with your title as Miss Earth 2020. Congratulations, girl. Hi, Lindsay, congratulations. We are all so proud of you and we know that you are going to make a fabulous Miss Earth. Hi, Lindsay, it's Laura, congratulations. Hi. I will never forget um, <gasps> chatting with you and realizing that, that you were the winner, that you were the next Miss Earth and um, just the range of emotions that we've, we've felt through this whole process have been overwhelming and yet so joyous and you did it. Congratulations. I knew you had it in you. Just had to wait for the judges to see that, see that spark in you, um, the perfection and yet imperfection that makes you very unique. And this has been your destiny. So I am so proud to walk down this path with you and cannot wait to see you in person. Congratulations, enjoy every moment. You deserve it. Yay. Honestly, that makes me so emotional because I mean, I honestly, I would not be where I am without my team. And we, we all of course have a group chat going on since we couldn't really be with each other during this time. And I would, we would, I would always look at that group chat and like, They would help me prepare. They would give me questions. They would give me topics to look up um, if something happened, and they, in, in the news, they would send it my way. So honestly, they helped me even grow into who I became through this journey. And then even Laura, honestly, like Laura was my saving grace through all of this. I mean, she's even talked me down from the ledge so many times because I've had so many doubts going into something that I've never done before. So I had no idea what I was doing. So having Laura just be my rock, just I mean, she's a game changer. So 
things I truly believe things would have gone completely differently if I didn't have them as an actual director. So I honestly, I appreciate them. I'm so grateful for each and every one of them because they have helped me get to where I am today. And I mean, we all made history together. So that's something that we're always going to remember. Thank you guys for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we, we would like to thank everybody who helped us um, gather all those messages, particularly for you, Lindsay, we'd like to thank Linnell for helping us gather those messages. And thank Yay. you very much, of course, you know, to the Philippines, to Queen Claudia, and also to Queen Kelly for that wonderful message. So, we, yes, because you, you know, you've, you've given us so much inspiration, um, all of you, all the four of you, you've given us so much inspiration, not only us who followed your journey for two months, but also the earthlings who have been following you and rooting Correct. for you um, in every part of the world. So this is our small way of um, telling you that, um, the, of inspiring you as well, and of um, telling you that, of course, we appreciate um, who you are and we appreciate what you can do for our earth this year. So thank you very in much. In other words, we love you. That's it. <laughs> we love you. Yeah. We love you. Thank you so much, Queens. Thank you so much. And before we end, so it is our it is now time to end our show. It's a wonderful, yeah. lovely show. So thank you, thank you very much. But before we end our show, we just have we just want you to leave um a simple message to our earthlings this year. As we as we see and witness your journey, not not as eco angels of your country anymore, but as elemental yes. queens and queen of the earth for this year. What would you promise to do or fulfill as Miss Earth Queen, as an elemental queen for this year? So we would like you to complete this line as uh, I am, of course, tell, tell your name, I am, and then your crown, and then please complete the line, and I promise to. Yes, there you go. So I am Emmanuel Feliciano, the queen of Miss Earth crown, just like, just kidding, and I promise to something like that. All right. So what would be your promise as you fulfill your reign this year? Let's begin with Mikala. Oh, oh sorry, Mikala. Yeah, Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mikala Rubinstein, Miss Earth Fire. And I promise to use the platform that I have been giving right now by Miss Earth to change the way that we perceive our world. And I will do my absolute best as, you know, doing this reign to really push forward the advocacies that I have and the things that I see and also bring some of the solutions that we have in Denmark because we are so far in so many things to really push that and show the world, you know, give them examples and take inspiration from each other and also look to what other countries are doing and take inspirations from them and really use the, the amazing platform that is called social media to look for inspiration in each other, listen to what each other have to say and just create a debate so we can all talk together and communicate and inspire each other. So that's what I would say, thank you so much. And also continuing doing that afterwards. You know, this is not just for you, this is something that I have been doing for many years and I will continue to do for the rest of my life. So I will just say, Say thank you for all of the Earth Queens that even come uh, went into this competition this year for doing what they're doing and combining the countries together because we are more than our countries, as Lindsay has said before. We are citizens of this Earth and we need to work together with nature and we are symbiotic with nature. Thank you very much. So thank you. Thank you so much for that promise. And we are excited to know what you can share from Denmark and also what you can share from yourself to the rest of the Earth. Thank you very much, Queen Mikala. And now, Let's go to our water queen, Miss Earth Water 2020, Roxy Vegas. Mabuhay! I am Roxy Vance, Miss Earth Water, and I promise to continue the advocacies that I have already started. So it doesn't just end here. I would continue volunteering for the Department of Agriculture, DNR, and of course expand that to every to anyone who wants to invite me as a speaker. For any environmental conferences, I it's a it's a yes right away. This is a commitment and uh, a fulfillment at the same time. So I get up in the morning, 
knowing I have this purpose and go to sleep soundly at night knowing I made a difference. So it's a very great fulfillment for me and I would definitely continue that. And of course, I would speak more about climate change since there are over 800 million people who are currently adversely affected with climate change and uh, a huge part of that is the Filipino community. Here in my country, we experience a lot of floods and a lot of people have been losing their lives the past month. So I, I really want to give my part to take part while sending assistance, encouraging people to send help, encourage them also to walk lightly on earth because these are the effects of our detrimental actions. So let this be a reminder for us to walk lightly and on earth. And I, as Miss Earthwater, I promise to support my eco queen sisters, of course, Mikala, uh, Stephanie, and of course, our Queen Lindsay, that we will protect at all costs. I promise to support your causes and lift you up as eco angels. And of course, thank you, Miss Earth Crown, for this an, an, another fun filled experience. <laughs> and uh, Mabuhay, everybody. And I hope you all stay safe, mostly amidst this pandemic. Thank you. Thank you very thank you. much. Okay. Likewise, it's always fun be having you here, Roxy. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And Earthlings, a reminder from Roxy, walk lightly on Earth. Thank you so much. And now, it's time for our Miss Earth Air, Stephanie. Hello, everyone. I am Stephanie Say, Miss Earth Venezuela 2020, and now you're Miss Earth Air 2020. And I promise to put all my effort into being the best Miss Earth Air for you. I will put all my effort in, to promote education to people around the world and create awareness about Mother Earth who really needs our help. And the best way to create awareness is working together because together we are braver, stronger, and more united than ever. I promise that I will be a good example of three important qualities in this difficult time. Perseverance to keep moving forward, resilience to stand up each time, and faith to believe that after the storm always comes the call. Thank you so much, Mr. Crown. Thank you so much, my sister. Thank you for this amazing experience. And thank you very much, um, Queen Stephanie, for giving us an amazing performance and an amazing advocacy to fulfill for this year. So thank you so much. Yay. And yeah, finally, now let's have our Queen of the Earth for 2020. That's so nice to, to hear. Queen of the Earth, Miss Earth 2020, Lindsay. I never get tired of hearing that, so please continue. <laughs> but thank you guys. So I'm Lindsay Coffey, your Miss Earth, your first USA representative, Miss Earth 2020. And I promise to always be more than my country. I promise to make a difference, to make you all proud and to always put the state of our environment first. And I ask all of you to make the same promise because in order to find a solution to this problem, we all have to work together. And by making that now and taking that pledge, I'm so excited to be able to walk this path with you. And I will stand by you the entire way. And I'm so excited to write this new chapter and write this new story alongside one another and with my sister Queens and with Miss Earth Crown and everyone else who has just been supporting us. So thank you guys all so much. And hold yourselves accountable. We have to do this together. And I'm looking forward to accomplishing that. Thank you guys. Wow, thank you very much. That was a very important Yay. thing. Very important thing to say. So it, as iconic as and historic as your win, that line is also going to be yes. iconic. Be more than just your country. What can Absolutely. you guys say, Mark and Noy? Oh, speechless. Yes. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. So I'm very happy and uh, also thank you so much for opening up. And uh, I'm very happy that we got to know you better yeah so i hope this is not the end and please feel free to uh use out your platform to uh to further your advocacy and we're very excited for your reign yes and it's yeah. really an honor for us on miss earth crown being um the ones who followed you for the past few months in your journey and now you are queens you have now official titles uh for mr 2020 and we cannot wait for what's in store for all of you mabuhay kayong lahat Kudos to all of you and your team. And of course, we can't wait for the adventures that are coming your way as the new queens of the earth for 2020 and beyond. And thank you so much to all of the fans for being so enthusiastic. Maybe we can do a virtual applause for all of the fans, all of the earthlings, for yes. being so active for tonight, for mm -hmm. your questions and shout outs. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. 
maraming maraming salamat po for your active participation for tonight. Right, Eman? Yes, from beginning to end, you yes. guys. Yes. Of course, um, we, as much as we would love to read everything and shout out to everyone, of course, we this is the only time that we have. But, yes. of course, there's always the chance for next time. Because, look at, as, as you can see, to our, um, I don't know what part of your screen, to our upper right part of your screen, <laughs> We now have our MEC TV because from now on, we are going to give you more Miss Earth content. Yay! Of course, <laughs> our, yes, our original Miss Earth content. And this is only the beginning of it. So thank you very much. With that, we would like to say goodbye. We'd like to thank you. And of course, end the night on a high note, on a good note, and say goodbye and say thank you. And ingat po, take care to all our Earthlings. Mabuhay from the Philippines. And of course, thank you for always supporting us. So that is the end of our show for tonight. Yay! See you again next time. Bye, Earthlings. Bye. Bye. Earth 2020 in the house. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Precious. Shout out to Precious Ranger. Thank you so much.